Hey, Rob here for Quadratech.com. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to install the Quadratech Maximum Duty inch and three quarter leveling lift kit on a 2013 Wrangler Sahara. However, the installation procedures are basically the same whether you have an 07 to 16 two or four door Wrangler. Now the leveling lift kit is an economical and practical way to gain the additional clearance needed to fit up to a 33 inch tire on your Wrangler. And it does use the OE shocks for a factory like ride. Now the kit includes the lift spacers as well as the extended bump stops needed and the hardware for a complete installation. So let's go ahead and get this installed. For this job, you'll need a pair of locking pliers, a 25 64 drill bit and hand drill, 7 30 seconds hex key wrench, 10 millimeter socket, 18 millimeter socket, 21 millimeter socket, 9 16 open end wrench, 5 8 open end wrench, and an 18 millimeter open end wrench. Lift the Jeep from the axle with a floor jack and support the frame rails with jack stands, but do not lower the axle at this point. Remove the front wheels and tires. Using an 18 millimeter socket and open end wrench, disconnect the front sway bar links. Using a 21 millimeter socket, remove the front track bar bolt. Using an 18 millimeter socket and open end wrench, Remove the bottom bolt on the front shocks on both sides of the vehicle. Using a 10 millimeter socket, disconnect the brake line bracket from the frame and repeat on the other side of the Jeep. On 2011 and newer models, use a clip remover to disconnect the ABS lines from the brake line bracket. Using locking pliers, fold the brake line bracket down to remove the brake line. Remove the bracket using a 10 millimeter socket. You can discard the bracket as it is no longer needed. Gently lower the axle housing towards the ground and remove the coil spring. Remove the original spring isolator. A pry tool may be necessary. Install the two inch leveling spacer and reinstall the OE spring isolator below the leveling spacer. Using the bump stop as a template, mark the center of the bump stop on the spring perch. Consider using pilot holes and drill the bump stop pad using a 25 64 drill bit. Replace the coil spring and place the bump stop inside. Attach it to the axle using a 10 millimeter button head bolt, one washer, and a 10 millimeter nut. Use a floor jack to raise the axle so that the full weight of the Jeep is on the coil springs with the newly installed spacers. Now you can reattach the sway bar links using the factory hardware and torque to 60 foot pounds. Reattach the brake line bracket and reattach the bottom end of the shock and torque to 56 foot pounds. Install the wheels and tires and be sure to torque the lug nuts to 105 foot pounds. Finally, you can remove the jack stands and lower the vehicle onto the ground to reinstall the track bar and torque to 111 foot-pounds. Next, we'll install the rear spacers. Raise the rear end of the Jeep and properly support the frame rails using jack stands. Once completed, remove the rear wheels and tires. Disconnect the rear track bar bracket from the axle using a 21 millimeter socket. Using an 18 millimeter socket and open end wrench, disconnect the rear lower shock bolts and sway bar end links. Disconnect the brake line from the frame using a 10 millimeter socket. So disconnect the ABS line from the frame using a clip remover. Disconnect the axle housing vent line by simply pulling up on the hose. Now you can lower the axle and remove the rear coil springs. Install the new three quarter inch coil spacer on top of the original spring isolator and replace the coil spring. Raise the axle using a jack so the full weight of the Jeep is on the coil springs and newly installed spacers. Using an 18 millimeter socket and open end wrench, reattach the sway bar end links and torque to 60 foot pounds. Also reattach the bottom end of the shock and torque to 56 foot pounds. Reattach the brake line to the frame with the 10 millimeter bolt and reattach the ABS line to the frame with the pop clip. Now you can reinstall the wheels and tires and be sure to torque the lug nuts to 105 foot-pounds. Finally, lower the Jeep back onto the ground so that you can reattach the track bar. 
be sure to torque the track bar bolt to 111 foot-pounds using the factory hardware. Of course, make sure you double check all your torque specifications per the instruction manual. And that wraps up the install of your Quadratech Maximum Duty Lift Leveling Kit. Of course, if this is your first time watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you'll always be the first to know about all the latest product reviews, how-to videos, and more. And then simply click on that info button to head over to Quadratech.com to find out more information and buy a Quadratech Maximum Duty inch and three quarter leveling lift kit for your Wrangler today. And as always, if you have any questions at all for one of our Jeep experts, simply shoot us an email to info at quadratech.com, give us a call at 800-745-2348, or live chat over at quadratech.com. I'm Rob, I'll see you out on the trail.